welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, we are starting the day off here in front of the good old Dick's Sporting Goods. Let me just say, this dude up here is doing some work. It is super toasty out here for November day in Delaware. It's 75 right now. It's supposed to get up to like 80 degrees, feeling like straight summer out here. I'm excited, man. I've been wanting to film this video for a very long time. We are going to be doing a multi-store budget fishing challenge. So we're starting off here, good old Dick's Sporting Goods. We're going to hit up three different stores and we're going to buy all of our gear at each individual store. One store we get a rod, one store we get a reel, and one store we get some lures. Here's the thing, with all the stuff we need to buy, all these stores we need to go to, we have a budget of $100. We're big balling out here today, man, but once we spend all that money, once we get the gear, we're gonna be going to some fishing spots that I haven't hit up in a while, and hopefully, with that stuff, we could catch some fish. Now, I mean, the Delaware weather is weird. We had all that rain. Now it's been like sunny and hot for the last two days. Then it's gonna get really cold and then it's been cold. Some, it's just weird. So I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see really how that affects the fishing, but we're about to get in here to Dick's Sporting Goods. If you guys have been enjoying the videos or if you're new here, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. Also, man, if you can go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel. It would mean a lot to me. Let's get in here. Let's kind of scope things out a bit. I think we're gonna be picking a reel up from here. Hopefully they have some good stuff in here. I'm gonna throw on the mask. Let's get this video started here today that's interesting man they have lots of empty shelf space out here all right let's see uh i haven't been here in a little while let's see kind of what this fishing section is looking like oh yeah oh yeah just buys this and leaves yo ho yo 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 pond fishing challenge question mark there's just so much like look at their rods and reels and baits i actually was yeah look at this stuff i had my eye on this trout magnet bugs i've seen these a couple times before but i've never actually used them these are like Kind of like Helgramite looking things, I guess. Yeah, it says right there, large Helgramite, $1.99. I'm going to have to pick some of this stuff up, man. I know it's not part of the challenge. Oh, they also have mini Helgramites. And look at these little dudes right there, like some little crawfish looking dudes. If you guys didn't see, a couple of videos ago, we went trout fishing. They stocked trout in the spring and in the fall here in Delaware, and they did the fall stocking. We actually picked up some gear in that video from Cabela's, but I actually didn't see these little Helgramite dudes. And there's also, look at these, it's like trout crank, tr hello? Trout magnet crankbaits, like they're from Trout Magnet. It's actually pretty, pretty cool, man. I got some different colors in that. And just the normal trout magnets and all this kind of bait and stuff. My buddy was actually trout fishing uh, using these little mini chatterbaits too. I've actually never tried these for trout. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. These are like super tiny little mini chatterbaits. This over here is another one of my like favorite fall time fishing sections. Just like these little soft plastic panfish, crappy, yellow perch, all that kind of stuff. I mean, look at these dudes right there. I guess Jawbone is the uh, Dick Sporting Goods brand. Look at that. How much is that? Two forty nine. That actually looks pretty freaking good, dude. Maybe trout would even go for that too. Look at this. They even have a whole trout magnet kit too. Oh, dude. Yo, hold on. This actually comes with those worms. We were catching them on those worms in that video. It has trout magnets and it has those little crawls in it and it has little floats. Dude, hold on. How much is this? Twenty dollars. Yo, should I use this? Let me know in the comments below. You guys will see a trout video. Now, let me just say this is not a trout fishing video. But this stuff like is getting me kind of excited. I don't I somehow I stumbled into the trout section. Look at all this trout stuff Dick Sporting Goods has. They got the Joe's flies, the cast masters, the freaking Panther Martin, all types of spinners. I mean, look at this dude right here. The CP swing. I have never used these before. This actually looks like a different spinner than I get from Walmart. Holy crap, what's that? Dude, this is $5.99 spinner. I already feel bad enough when I lose a spinner. Oh dude, so this is also this is not even a trout aisle. That is like some trout candy right there. I've caught lots trout on that stuff okay so we're actually in like the bass sort of section ish just kind of poking around see if there's anything new or unusual or just like new ish to the fall season not gonna lie i mean they look pretty stocked up i mean look at all these freaking senkos zoom stuff oh my gosh okay look at all these reels man now again our total budget is 100 dollars. so what kind of things are cheap ish that is 20 dollars right there 69.99 loose carbon fiber 24 dollars zebco 30 dollars shimano 29 daiwa okay so originally i thought i was going to get like a reel from dicks but i think this is what we're going to end up going with here so this is the first half of the challenge 19 dollars 99 cents this is a jawbone so this is the dick sporting goods brand this right here is a six foot medium action uh does it have a name mm. oh this is a two-piece too yeah i don't know if the rod has a name but it's the jawbone tackle company this thing's actually pretty sick feels decent i mean it doesn't feel like a 300 rod but i've never actually used jawbone gear before so this is going to be the rod that we use today 20 dollars too so that's honestly not bad we still have a lot to go 80 dollars more in the budget let's get out of here let's get to the next store before i spend way too much time in here 
second store of the day. We are deep in the trenches of the Walmart parking lot. So we found a pretty good deal on the rod. We're gonna be going in here and I'm gonna try to find a reel to go with the rod. We gotta do some bopping and weaving. Well, let's see what this fishing section is like here. And then also, yeah, let's see if we can get a reel. I like this challenge, man, this is fun. Please Walmart, do not let us down. This is craziness, man, just like that. Two seconds later, it's like Walmart Christmas time. This is crazy, man, setting up for holidays, I feel like it's earlier and earlier each year. My girlfriend actually already put up some Christmas stuff. I was like, what? Ooh, I even have more gear than last time. I feel like I was just here a couple weeks ago. So uh, yeah, fishing gear, fishing gear, fishing gear, fishing gear. Here's the rods and reels. Ooh, see, this could be kind of interesting. If we get Ozark Trail, which is Walmart brand, we have the Dick's Sporting Good brand. How much is this? First of all, look at this. That is a very interesting looking reel. He says that is $30. Do they have just reels? Mm, hello? All right, here we go. Well, what do we have here? Oh, I know I've seen these before. These ones actually look pretty cool. 28, 44, 34, 96. Here's a quick scan of the reels. Look at it, $6.80 reel right there. I think we might go with this actually. This is an Ozark Trail. So this is the Walmart brand spinning reel, $15.87. To be honest, man, these look cooler, more appealing. I feel like these would definitely work better. For the video, for the content, for the culture, we gotta get the Walmart. So we're gonna have Dick's Sporting Goods brand, and we have Walmart brand, and then we have one more store. We're actually gonna be hitting up Cabela's. Does Cabela's have their own brand of stuff? I guess, yeah, Bass Pro does, right? So yeah, right now we have under $40. Should we make this a $50 challenge? I feel like that would make a little bit more sense. We're gonna spend $50 of baits, right? All right, so we're only using store brand products. And $100 shrunk down to $50 budget. I, you never know what's gonna happen in these first day fishing videos. All right, this is actually gonna be cool though. It's gonna be like a uh, Frankenstein setup. Ooh, all right, last stop of the day, as you guys see back there, the place, as I always say, where I spend way too much freaking money. Look at this though, man. We got some fall leaves sprinkling around in the wind. We're gonna try to not get too distracted in here. We need to get some lures. I also gotta get some line uh, for that reel too. Don't let me forget. But yeah, man, last door of the day. Let's see what we can get in good old Cabela. They legit have a speaker out front playing Christmas music. Saw it. We have a lot. <laughs> Lots to work with, man. Every time I come in here, there's so many freaking aisles. I don't know why I came over to this aisle. What even is that? Ooh, something like this. That would be absolutely killer for like something like those stripers that we were fishing for. Holy, 12 ounce. Yo, <laughs> should I do a bass fishing challenge with this? Oh wow, this is actually pretty cool too. This is all in the saltwater section. Look at this, man. That could definitely be used. Hello, is that focus? That could definitely be used for some bass fishing. Look at these. Right there, a little pink color, a little white. Tell me a bass would not crush that, man. I always like looking at the saltwater stuff here because there's so much, like, just look at all this, man. There's aisles and aisles and aisles. We don't have this in like the other tackle shops around here. Stuff like that, like these big old freaking giant things. Bow Retrieve Pro Reel, $109. Should I get a bow? And we have made our way to the catfish session. All right, let's go over to the bass stuff. Let's see, we need to find Bass Pro Lures. All right, we got some crates out in the middle of nowhere here. This is actually Bass Pro Shop spinners. That actually looks pretty cool. And then over here we have, what is this? we got some poppers. What else is in here? Anything good, more poppers. Ooh, uh, poppers, uh, Cabela's, multi-tool action. I thought this was all like the bargain stuff, but these are $2.99. That is not a bargain. All right, what are we working with here? What the heck is that? Minnow spoon? That looks so weird. You know what? Actually, compared to some of these prices, I guess that is a bargain for those spinners. These rooster tails here are 329 I thought they were cheaper. Some of these, I mean, look, $4.99? That's pretty expensive for a spinner. I apologize if I offended you past pro shops, but look at all this plasticky, soft plastic. Like, this is... I don't know, I don't know if you can see all that, man. Just loaded with, this is all Bass Pro shots right here. Here's some Cabela stuff. Even over here, we got some Bass Pro Marabou jigs. I'm liking these right here, it's 469, but look at this. Those are pretty freaking sick, man. It's called Bumblebee too. We've had a lot of luck on this channel with some Bumblebee. All right, yeah, now I'm actually gonna get these. These are a little bit cheaper, $3.29. Look at the name of that, Stubby Butt. This section over here is actually pretty interesting. They have a bunch of different kinds of rigs. Like, look at this right here. This is uh, Uncle Buck's larva beetles, kind of like panfish thing. Yeah, this interesting looking dude. I don't know, just a bunch of cool stuff. Look at these, I have no clue what the heck you call that. It looks like the flies I was using for trout. This section over here is looking pretty spicy, pretty saucy too. Look at this, they're literally playing Christmas music. I don't know if you guys get out of that. 
That looks pretty cool, man. $3.49. Actually, at the end here, they have a bunch of Bass Pro Shops jigs that are all around like $3.49. Maybe, should we go with one of these? These are here, a little Bass Pro Shops spinner bait. I mean, we do already have a spinner. So we're over here at a different one of these like little, I guess, middle kind of section things. Look at these tiny, tiny little uh, speed sheds. These are the Bass Pro Shops. Look at the shine. I think I might pick up a little lipless right here. Here's a few different patterns I found in this little thing. These are uh, $2.49, I think. I know, I like the shininess of that one. Um, I don't know, should I go white? No, we're gonna grab this one, I think. All right, I think we're pretty much good. What's in this one? I don't think I need any of that. I do need a line, though. Boom, Bass Pro Shops special. I think we have pretty much everything we need out here. We got a bunch of different gear. Let's get to the water, man. We thought a nice shop in here today. I'm actually excited to see. I mean, it's so freaking hot. I'm excited to see how these fish are behaving and if we can actually catch some fish up in this area because i really haven't been up in this area i've been down in like the lower end of the state so yeah man let's go check out this uh should be pretty fun i just want to show you guys something look i don't even know if you can see you probably yeah i don't know if you can see or not can you see from this angle i mean kind of sort of this window is so freaking dirty man because every time we take camper in here when he was like smaller he'd like be up here licking the window and hitting it with his little nose this is like the dirtiest window i have ever had in a car ever but yeah man that is three different bags three different stores it took me a while man we shopped till we dropped this store as i said i don't even know if i said it it's like 45 minutes up the state but yeah man this is exciting because as i said i don't really fish up here much it's a beautiful day i hope you guys are having a good day the leaves have changed colors kind of and they're all falling and stuff this is just this is a nice day man This pond behind me, I have only fished here a handful of times, like barely, honestly, ever. And apparently there are some actually pretty cool species in here. Last year I was kind of around this area and I learned some stuff about this pond. It is, uh, hold on. That is actually pretty dirty. Usually this place is pretty clear and clean. You can see the bottom and stuff. I guess we have been having like a decent amount of rain. But from what I kind of learned is that over here near all these trees, there's like a bit of a drop off and there's a bunch of wooden stuff in the water. That is likely where a couple different species of fish are hiding out. But as I said, I mean, the sun is shining out here. I mean, it's been a lot warmer. Who knows? These fish could be all over the place. Holy crap, dude, look how big that freaking leaf is right there. That is crazy. So yeah, we got the setup right here. I'll show you guys that in a second. We're gonna try to find like a little, uh, I don't know, some kind of path over here that we can walk on. I do see the fishing line in that tree right there. So that is a good sign. ASMR, leaf crunching. Um, yeah. I don't know, there's not really a path. Sometimes in life, you gotta make your own path. Oh God, I'm stuck. This is like so freaking steep. Oh gosh, I'm slipping. We're trying to make our way down the, uh, that way. Oh boy. Definitely with all these leaves too. I feel like it makes it so much more slippy. Oh, no. Oh. Oh god. All right, this is gonna be our home base right here. Let's just put everything down. Now I did wait, like I kind of set this all up just to get it out of the way, because putting line on a reel is a pain in the freaking butt. Oh, dude, I am like slipping, slipping. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll show you guys better in the sun. I did wait to do one thing. Boom, let me pick that up. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make my way down here. Let's just, just relax. Let's all just be calm here. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, once we get down, we're staying down. Oh my god, hello. All right, cool. This is our log now. I don't even know, man. I think it's been a long, long time since I've done some fishing like this where I stand on a log. Should I try to go further? Maybe I can, um... Oh, hold on, let me just show you guys real quick what we got going on here. So this is tiny, tiny little 132 ounce jig head. And then we have that little thing from uh, Cabela's. The reason I'm over here, the reason I got this on, well, first of all, this is like a good lure, I guess, just for fall time. When a lot of these fish are roaming around and feeding, you know, getting all fired up in the fall bite, this like, stuff like this, little stuff, they'll get bit by a lot of different things. I would absolutely love to get bit out here by a crappie. I have not caught a crappie or really went crappie fishing. I know a lot of y'all roast me for, it's, it's crappie, crappie, however the freak you want to say it. Oh my God, I feel like freaking Jack Sparrow. First cast. Oh God. Oh God, I think I got the tree. Oh yeah, that's a nice stick. I might be able to get this. Is this a good idea? Probably not. 
Okay, there we go. Wind knot on that first cast, and we got snagged. So, uh, that's the thing. Starting off hot. Just hoping there's something on this. I mean, the wind's kind of blowing in this direction, too, towards this bank. That is a very loud vehicle. Just gonna let this thing drop. Start working it around a little bit. Honestly, I don't know what else is in this pond. I know there's bass, and it's crappy. It's gotta be sunfish. No, there's definitely sunfish. I don't know what else. It is a mystery pond that I've barely, honestly barely touched. Oh boy, if only you guys could see me right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I didn't fall yet. Oh, there's somebody over there to my left. Oh, that's freaking fish. That was a fish. I did not even get to freaking see what it was. Dang it. Come on, come back for it. All right. I am freaking done being Tarzan. Ooh, oh my, it is like actually toasty toasty today so we're walking to the other end of this pond right now i figured you know well my legs were kind of wobbling a little, little bit this is, this is a small stick that i was standing on but this should be interesting this actually is the side of the pond the wind is blowing on and i've actually never fished this side of the pond either like ever oh look at that there's like a little delaware gator path gotta be careful of them gators oh i'm like out of breath this is like an adventure here man all right where should we set up? Okay, yeah, it's a little shallower here, but it looks like it drops off. So the goal, like the original goal, oh, what the heck is that? Oh, is that a deer? A deer skull? All right. So uh, the original goal I had was to kind of go smaller to bigger fish. We had a total of uh, one bite. What should we do? Let's put this spinner on. Literally when I got here, there's nobody here. Now there's three other people. No, I literally just came over here. All right, before we put that spinner on, I'm gonna try, maybe we have this tied on already. I'll have to put a little bobber on it just to get it out a little further. As fish. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, first one of the day there on the tiny, oh gosh, tiny, tiny little jig. He's actually cold. Just kind of slurp the bobber right down. There we go, man. Not a bad start here to the day. I mean, that's like as big as my freaking finger. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's get this back out there. I could have sworn when that went down, dude, that was gonna be crappy. Just like the way that it sank. I don't know if there's big bass in here. This is the side. If they're here, they're gonna be here, I feel like. All right, we are officially switching up here. Dude, this guy, I don't have a joke about it. Like somebody, like right when I caught that bass, somebody was right, right next to me. It was just uh, definitely kind of interesting. All right, so if this doesn't work, we have a couple other things. I also have a secret rep, but you guys don't even know about that yet. But this thing looks freaking good. I'm guessing, I mean, in this wind, this is gonna be nice. I think that this time of the year, this is gonna look like some, oh. Come on, it's gotta get slammed. I feel like it's gonna look like some bait fish. These fish are gonna wanna chase. Oh, it looks so good. To be honest, thinking about it, I really, I mean, I never use spinners. Besides if I'm like trout fishing or creek fishing or something, like I never, Think about going out for bass and you know putting on a spinner so i guess we'll see if it's worth it or not here I'll tell you what it looks good there are a ton of leaves though so hopefully that does not get all snaggy
Oh my god. <laughs> I did not even know I had a fish on. Okay. Well, that is interesting. Look at this, man. Oh, it's like the size of my freaking spinner. Literally, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's almost the same size <laughs> as my freaking bait. Hey, man, fish is a fish. I always tell you guys. I'm not going to complain about that, especially, I mean, look how pretty that is. I might have to take a picture. Whew, all right, man. Second one of the day. Different bait, too. Let's let that guy go. I really can't complain, like, about the rod and reel so far. Should I throw this around a couple more times? I kind of want to change it actually real quick. So I have a secret weapon that I got at the one store. We have a couple other baits as well. Got the lipless and stuff, but dude, these things are freaking sick. I want to try one. I've never actually tried one of these little mini chatterbaits. The question is, do I go with the darker or the lighter? I think, let's go with the darker. This water is a little bit murky. Comes with the extra little fish dude. Let's put that back in there. This is so cool, man. Chatterbaits are one of my favorite for this time of the year, especially when it's windy. It'll be interesting to see, hello? stuck in some stuff we just can see how this actually works it's a lighter lower i think it said it's one eighth of an ounce but remember that like skull i was showing you guys i got some like bonage more bone more bone oh my god more freaking <laughs> what the heck i wonder if there's any sheds here oh my god dude this is like the freaking elephant graveyard out here look at this i think that's part of the eye I just, what? Very interesting uh, area we're fishing in. The lucky graveyard. Biggins all day. All right, let's see if we can cast this chatterbait. Definitely doesn't go too far, but oh my gosh. It's chattering. Dude, that is some freaking action. Oh no, yeah, we can whip it. Dude, this thing is sick. Literally a mini chatterbait. Like it's literally a mini chatterbait. It's chattering, but like mini. Oh. Come on. That's what I'm telling you guys about these first day fishing videos, man. You never know what you're gonna get. One video we could be catching giant freaking stripers by the way if you guys haven't seen the last two videos they have been just like oh my god some of the most fun fishing i've ever done ever in delaware some of the best fish we ever caught in delaware in small creeks catching giant striped bass like so much it's just crazy man it's so much fun but uh yeah i mean one video we'll be doing that next video we got a mini chatterbait catching some leaves catching some micro bass it's smaller than my freaking finger yeah so far if you guys have enjoyed this video man please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button would mean a lot to me it does help out the channel and uh, i think it would give me that good luck that i need right now it's going to send the fishing gods a message basically what it does it puts a bounty on my lure and specifically for big bertha so you know wherever she's at she gets an alert in her head and she's just like yep gotta eat that so far i mean as far as the rod and reel goes i think it's pretty solid we've got those two absolute mondo giants and i mean the gears didn't break rod didn't snap sit Chill, chill, that's my hat, dude. Chill, chill. Oh boy. All right, this dude is going crazy right now. That is pretty much going to be the end for this video. His toys are all over the place. I got them all riled up there. So I fished that pond. As I said, it's kind of like a mystery pond. I don't really know what's in it, but I fished it for a little while more. I like, really until it got dark, and then. Yeah, we really didn't catch anything else. That's just fishing sometimes though. You never know what is going to happen. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. That, you know, will help me know you guys want to see more videos like this. And definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other ideas or, you know, you guys want to see more stuff very, very similar to this. 
But that is pretty much it, man. I think um, if you guys haven't actually seen the last two videos on the channel, definitely, like seriously, that's probably some of the best fishing like ever on the channel. And it was in Delaware and you were by ourselves and it was freaking epic. If you haven't seen those videos, definitely make sure you go check them out. I gotta go play with this dude. He's getting super hyper. He is, uh, I think he's almost, he's five months. He's maybe getting close to six months old. So it's like a little pup date for you guys. We'll do like a more in-depth one in the near future. Yeah, man, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for watching this video. This one, it, it was a lot of fun to make. It's not the most successful fishing, but it was fun, man. So thank you again. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where